So, where's our special guest, the Hot Wheels expert? <laughs> Haven't figured it out yet, have you? Get in! Just look at this place. It's like a childhood dream come true. I thought I'd bring along a few friends who wanted to show off their Hot Wheels inspired cars. So, I've got some fact sheets here. You get to learn along with the audience. I'll just hit the record button and... I never would have guessed, Hayley. Stick with me, kid. The biggest Hot Wheels expert on Earth is about to take you to school. It all started with Elliot Handler, who saw the toy cars his son played with and thought to himself, I could make something better. You see, right from the very beginning, Elliot envisioned a toy car that looked cool and rolled fast, making it that much more fun to play with. At the time, there was nothing out there like that. Handler brought in former rocket engineer Jack Ryan and General Motors car designer Harry Bradley for help. And between them, they made the first 16 cars, known as the original 16. Jack's team developed the stainless steel axles and Delrin hubs that allowed the cars to roll super fast, while Harry made them look super eye-catching. Harry and Jack's contributions became the pillars of Hot Wheels, performance and design. The first car off the production line was a custom Camaro. I look like the one you're driving right now. Ah, I see what you did there. Yeah, and another of the original 16 was the custom at Fleetside, based on Harry's custom Chevy El Camino. Most of those early designs were inspired by hot rods and muscle cars, which were popular in California car culture at the time. After Harry Bradley, more designers joined the team, like Ira Guilford from Chrysler, who did the twin mill, and Larry Wood from Ford, who designed the original Bone Shaker. But right from the beginning, they were designing cars to do one thing above all, roll really, really fast on plastic tracks. Wow. You've done your research. Research? I memorised this stuff when I was six years old. One reason why Hot Wheels are so eye-catching is because of a special paint called Spectra Flame. They used a transparent lacquer applied over a polished zinc plating, which gave it a totally awesome metallic effect, just like a real car. Since then, Hot Wheels has broadened and developed its paint technique to support a variety of looks and effects. Fascinating stuff, right? Another detail was the red stripe on the tyres, like the one you're driving now. They called them red line tyres, and they look so cool! Red line tyres are a defining characteristic of this era and are really sought after by collectors. Nice drive. Here, take the Nash Custom 1957, winner of the Legends Tour 2019. Thanks, Hayley. Let's do this again soon. <laughs>